Hi everyone. So in this video, we will talk about the HTTP module and the path module. Okay, these are the core modules available in Node.js. Okay. Yeah. So if you just see, I'm just inside a Node.js console, and here, if I do require, if I do require FS. Then I will get it right. Similarly, because these are the core modules and you can require them directly. So this is HTTP. And if I just do methods, then I get all these HTTP, HTTP methods which you know HTTP get, put, post, delete, patch, purge, search. I mean, we are not even using all these methods. And then status code. So these status code we somehow written the 200, 300, 401, 404, 500, all the status code. Because this is a HTTP module which deals with the client server. It is going to create a server for you. Okay. And then it will listen to the particular port. Right. So how do we create a server? Simply HTTP that we have already seen. HTTP dot require HTTP dot create server. Just go one by one. So we are not doing any mistake. Yes, create server is available. And here you can just do listen to a particular port. So we are not doing anything else here. We, we are able to start a server on a particular port, right? I think this error, I mean, this address is already occupied. Here you will get these kind of errors when this particular port is already occupied on your system. So we'll just make it 3005. And yes, here we are able to start the server. Rest, what we can do is we can add address one callback inside. It. So what this callback is doing, nothing but it is enabling clients to connect and signal them that you have been connected. So this is a callback. Whenever any client connected, this callback will get executed and you will be able to respond with some hello message or something. So on every single request, whenever the client connects, we are sending this so that callback you can also write here okay it's a multi line so we we'll just execute it here so create server and then you can just listen to one particular port which is like 5001 okay this is how you can just create a simple create a simple http server and here you can just do response dot write something response dot send and something like this response dot end I think you have to do just to say that okay I'm done whatever I have written just send it to client okay so this is how we are creating a server and this is HTTP module very useful for creating the client server so here we are creating server and we are connecting to the all the clients similarly we have path module so path module also we can just see here what all utilities that path module is providing it is moreover related to the file structures directories getting a file path reading from a i mean pointing to a particular directory formatting parsing these all methods are available right so base path name directory name uh, exact name is absolute join and all so this is how we can just use it you can require path and then require path dot join here we are actually trying to join these different uh, files from directory okay this is a particular name i'm trying to join with the notes.txt so i'm just trying to create a folder structure file path in the current file path okay we have already seen that this dir name is actually pointing to the current directory so sometimes you will see this dir name in most of the places where you use this file path module it is actually pointing to the current directory from current directory we will be exploring the file path okay in the users there is a test and then there is a notes.txt so this path we will get okay after this what we will do is we will have a look on to node.js architecture and these three terms event driven no naive blocking 
and uh, event driven no naive blocking and single threaded and how it is working for the client request. 